The following video is a guide with regards to navigating in the vicinity of the ferry. Safely tacking away. Sailing boats to take positive early actions, tack away, if on a converging path with the ferry passage. The ferry captain can't assume that the dinghies are going to tack and not cross path. In this video, you can see that the first and the third dinghy tacked early whilst the second dinghy continued for a while across the path of the ferry before tacking. In this instance, they could have also capsized or got into trouble in front of the ferry. Navigating on the correct side of the river. If approaching the ferry whilst navigating on the incorrect side of the river, the port side, and other boats are on the correct side, then this creates a ferry sandwich, thereby compromising or obstructing the safe passage of the ferry. In this first clip, you can see a yacht navigating correctly on the correct side of the river. This second clip shows that a rig is on the wrong side of the river and a motor vessel is on the correct side of the river. Crossing the channel safely. Allow plenty of time before crossing the channel ahead of the ferry, especially when sailing in light airs. Position in channel. Be aware of positioning in relation to channel and effects of wind and tide. During organised events, safety boats must ensure that they do not drift too much into the main channel in a southerly or westerly breeze, as this could force the outbound ferry onto the wrong side of the channel and lee shore. This situation is compounded if inbound boats on the correct side of the channel need to pass. Sailing in groups. Often, when sailing boats are following each other, including racing, and one crosses ahead of the ferry, the others follow. While there may have been time for the first boats to cross safely without impeding ferry passage, this may not be the case for following boats. Safe distance behind the ferry. If boats are too close to the stern of the ferry, the bridge crew will not be able to see them because of the blind spot caused by the prow. As a rule of thumb, if you can't see the bridge crew, they can't see you. Mooring operations. Be aware that the vessel will be thrusting into the berth during mooring and unmooring. This can take considerably longer when mooring with an easterly offshore breeze, as extra lines may be deployed before stopping engines. All bad behaviour in this video has been staged. Thank you to the Lymington Harbour Commissioners, Lymington Town Sailing Club and the Royal Lymington Yacht Club for their assistance.